to my weekly post. This week, my three minutes are focused on very important things, ground rules. Now, whether you're talking about sport, parliament or mediation, ground rules provide the boundaries of acceptable behaviour. However, unlike sport and parliament, the aim of ground rules in a mediation is for them to be followed and not pushed to the extreme. If you're mediating a workplace conflict, I encourage you to set ground rules with the participants at the outset. They can easily be introduced when you're setting the scene for the mediation and after you've reminded, reminded the participants of the process you'll take them through. When I'm introducing ground rules, I'll do so by saying something like, my experience has shown me that mediations work well when everyone agrees to follow some ground rules as they help the process to run smoothly. For example, the ground rule of listening while the other person is speaking. Now you'll see that you've both got pen and paper provided. So if you hear something that you'd like to respond to, then instead of interrupting the other person, just take a note of it on the pen and paper and be sure that I'll make sure that you will have time during the mediation to respond to whatever you heard. So having the ground rule of listening and not interrupting helps the process to flow well. Do you agree to follow this ground rule? Now, after I've asked the question, do you agree to follow the ground rules? I ensure I get a verbal agreement from each person and I acknowledge this immediately. I also take the opportunity to let them know that they've both started the session well by agreeing on something, the ground rules. Sometimes I will get a wry smile, but it does still set the scene for the participants that it is possible to agree with the other person. Now, having received verbal commitment to follow the ground rules comes in handy later in the session if one of the participants starts to speak over the top of the other. That's when I remind them of their willingness at the outset to follow the ground rules of listening and not interrupting. I remind them and prompt them to use the pen and paper and confirm they will be given time to respond. Now, doing this as soon as I hear the talking over um, somebody else, make sure that this behaviour will not escalate as the participants immediately take stock of their inappropriate behaviour and change their ways. Now, one other tip around ground rules that I can offer is to be careful when talking about respect that you don't place your own values of what you think respect is. My experience has found that the listing component is always well received and has never not been supported by a participant. However, suggesting something like they must not swear is not considered a universal common value and therefore in some situations, some people will find it hard to stay within the ground rules. So just give careful consideration to what you would like within the ground rules. So that's my time for this week. If you'd like to share any of the ground rules that you find work well for you when managing any conflict, just please leave them attached to this post. Have a fabulous week and I look forward to talking to you next week. Bye for now.